Uganda, how we doing? So much better running when it's warm out. Can't wait for summer. I'd much rather have the heat. Also, podcasts, that's where it's at. I don't listen to a lot of like the social enterprise, international development type podcasts just because, I don't know, just a lot of times I don't feel like there's all that much good stuff in there. And I listen to one right now, it's about the marketing director from Charity Water uh, in the clean water space. They're the cream of the crop. With that said though, they're addressing maybe 1% of the total problem. That's it. An organization that's incredibly mature, been around for more than a decade, is barely addressing 1% of the problem. Yet they're pontificating about, we're, we got this, we're gonna solve this. Like, you're appearing to solve the problem. You're not actually solving it. And that's what's frustrating because they wanna give the donor, they wanna project the image that they're making this huge difference in the world, and they are making a difference. But are they actually addressing the problem of getting people access to clean water? They've addressed maybe 1% of the problem and there's no roadmap for them to scale. I mean, they don't talk about the challenges that they have. They don't talk about how they've been able to scale in Ethiopia because of the connections that they have in that community. But those connections don't scale to other countries, other communities. So how do they solve that problem? As many people as there are giving to issues like this, there's not enough. They can't solve the problem in a one-off fashion. You know, now they have sensors on the wells, but they didn't talk about how the fact that most wells stop working within a couple years. When I was in Uganda, I met with a researcher who said within three years, 30% of the wells were the only ones still functioning. Seven out of 10 wells were not functioning by year three. And so these aren't the stories that we hear. We just hear these incredible stories of change and you know, we hear dramatic stories about how women have to walk four hours one way to get clean water when the UN studies even cited on Charity Waters webpage says that on average it saves a well saves a woman 30 minutes of her day 30 minutes I mean that's important that's time I, I want 30 minutes more in my day but is is 30 minutes gonna create this transformational change no it's not but we're told that it is and I bring up Charity Water because I, again I think they are the best in the industry but what I want to hear from Charity Water is why they're the best getting access to clean water to people around the world. Not that they are the best, why they're the best. That's my mid-run rant. Another two miles to go. Pretty solid run. Been running a lot recently. I think I've done at least 20 miles the last couple weeks. 20 miles a week for the last couple weeks. So, but going back to the podcast and the whole charity water thing, I mean, marketing and trying to ha how to figure out how to get the message out there, try to do it in the right way. Something that shows that how venture is different. You know, I was telling my buddy, you gotta play the game before you change the game. Yes, we need to bring in depth. Yes, we need to bring in, you know, talk about like the big problems and the challenges and everything that we need to do in Africa, to solve poverty, all these different things. But at the same time, people just wanna feel like they're changing the world. So what, what is that balance between the emotion and the substance? I was talking with Jacob, my intern slash COO slash director of sales slash utility man, just doing all different things we can do as far as getting our name, product, message out there. And figure just a good way to start is just doing what other people aren't. There are always like, good things to do, but for the most part, people, it's saturated. Everyone's doing the same things. And so how can we hack through that? How can we do something different and really stand out? I've thrown out a bunch of average ideas. Jacob's had a lot of good ideas. One of my average ideas actually to create a video specifically for Uganda and market it to Ugandans. 
in the course of getting this going with the, you know, the vlog, all this different content, I get messaged constantly from people in Uganda, Africa, India, about how much they like what we're doing. They like what venture's about and they understand why it's different. It's about creating jobs, about doing business. And that message resonates. And so one of the hacks that I think we can get to kind of elevate venture is to create a video kind of explaining who we are and get Ugandans to declare like, hey, that's awesome, I'm on board. That's good. We want more people doing business, less people helping. And so we'll see how it goes. But the more we do things that are different, other people haven't done before, the better. Because not everything's going to hit, but eventually it'll start coming together. We'll see. Learn by doing. Uganda, how we doing? Let's get some more light in here. Uganda, how we doing? Now I know what you're thinking, another American who wants to help Africa. Well, I am an American, but there is a problem. Every year, Ugandan universities graduate 40,000 students, but only 8,000 find jobs. No, come on, dad, ah! Pops is trimming hedges out there. How I shoot video and that going on? Please buy my bag so I can move out of my parents' place. Now to shoot the last part of this masterpiece. On behalf of America, I apologize. But there is a problem. All right, so I'm heading into town, get some work done, do some video editing. Uh, Zoo Ventures, which is the competition, pitch competition. I shot a video with them last week about with a big check that I had cashing it. Um, so they just posted that, did a really good job. Here's a little clip of it. Hey guys, how we doing? Oh, here James Crawford. There it is. That's, That's what I'm in here. Do you know where to cash big checks? Because I got one. Do you know where they take big checks? Any idea? Cross street. Yeah. Right. Appreciate that. Do you have a big scanner? We can just slide that through and... No. They did a really good job putting it together. Uh, put the link below to the full clip. Uh, go check that out. Like it. Let me shut this place down. Also, these headphones, Urban Vinyl, they're legit. They actually won the Zoo Ventures competition the year before. Did a little swap. They're pretty dope. So the ad I created for Uganda, it's been shared almost 400 times, been viewed almost 12,000 times. The comments, the feedback, it's insane. I need to figure out what I'm doing with all that, but Uganda's level ventures about.